They gon' love me for my ambition. Yeah. Yeah. You know that sharks existed like 50 million years before like dinosaurs? Mm. That's crazy. I know, I know that they technically could be considered a dinosaur. I don't know mm. about them. That's new to me. I mean, it makes sense. It's like there's so much water. Same thing like on, octopuses on and shit like that. Yeah, so. That motherfucker is not real. But what is real is Tory Lanez has to serve about 10 years in jail. Yep. You know, he was sentenced officially with the hearing over the Megan Thee Stallion situation with the gun and the assault circumstances that happened and it's gone viral you know academics is one of the naysayers is there's a community of people out there that still don't believe that Tory Lanez did it at all let alone believe you know that there was anything shot this you know people are gonna you know they're gonna believe we're gonna believe I, I don't think Tory Lanez is gonna do the 10 years so it, it already got reduced to like I guess time served that he's been in prison I think like 300 days so now he only has to do like nine and something, but they say, you know, in LA, good you behavior. have to serve there's with good behavior, nine. you still have to serve 85%. So everyone's like kind of estimated it now at being like he's probably going to end up doing like seven, seven years. years. Seven years. Maybe five and two on house arrest. You never know. Parole. And uh, parole. Also. Nonetheless, very wild situation. His career is definitely being affected right now. But once he's out of jail and if he makes good music, I think his shit going to be booming again. Uh, I'm if, not gonna lie even to you. if he makes music in jail. I didn't even think about that. Gonna blow the fuck he up. He can still drop from jail, right? Young Thug did it, right? With old shit. But let's see. Megan and Stanley for the first time spoke out about this. Basically, subliminally, allegedly, for her lawyers listening, right? Allegedly, um, she thanked her fans. This was at the Outside Lands Festival. And we have Megan Stanley's reaction right here. Let's play from the top with the audio. Hot girls and the hot boys that support me. Fuck the haters, fuck the, you know, everyone doubted, etc. Because legally, she is the victim. You know, she 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 is the victim. She, by definition, you know, the man is, is going, in j going to jail. He's in jail right now, you know. Um, and, you know, it, I think this situation, what happened with this, right? And I'm going to be blatantly honest. It was just the whole optics of, like, the way it went about. I feel like with Tory Lanez tweeting... You know, that that didn't help him in court, right? No. But him tweeting, like, basically his innocence and, like, but not really saying that he was innocent. Um, talking in interviews about it, but not really. And then her not addressing it kind of, like, at all. Mm -hmm. But then having, like, emotional moments when people would kind of be, you know, questioning her, being confused about it. And even in, if you look at the actual um, the court documents, which I followed the case and everything, there wasn't, like, a straight-up concrete form of evidence that if it were to come out right now couldn't convey people right away it was like a series of more of actual things that all combined was like okay the jury came to that conclusion and it decided on the case right it was in the foot you know and she tried to because at the time they were allegedly relationship maybe coming off of one she tried to protect them and she didn't want to necessarily snitch right so it was all for people's figment of imagination right away. Like, it was, it was like, no concrete. Like, what the hell's going on here? No one wants to talk about it. Ken, uh, Kylie was involved, but then Kylie didn't speak on it. It was at her house or her party her was going party. on. You know, so the whole allure of it, I think, made this to become something that it, it, it didn't need to be on social media, right? With that being said, even with the case being how it was, she's saying, you know, fuck the haters, etc., People are going to think of what they're going to think. The academics of the world is going to be out here still. And hopefully, I'm, you know, hopefully he doesn't, but he might face legal ramification, they're saying, cool. for, like, academics. For, like, oh, really? saying, like, you know, he said that he doesn't think it's true, didn't happen, blah, 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 blah. Like, basically calling yeah, out her but lawyers. What, but you can't speak on, you can't state your opinion now? But that's what he was saying. But I guess maybe you can't. 
You know, that's why I always like walk on eggshells around this as well. Because I do think that he's guilty, but my whole thing it was just like, mm, like, did he shoot? The evidence and all that shit is just weird. Yeah, but I still think he's guilty. I th- I'm pretty sure he shot her. But I'm, I or was just like, something. was it with an intention to hurt her? Like my whole thing was like, we weren't there either. Yeah. I but like, know. fuck, was it a drunk night? You know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We, we Gucci. But I, I once was a, was her, was her fan base called a hottie? <laughs> I was a hottie, bro. I used to be a hottie. Uh, you know. Not she, no more. I'm still am, but I'm thinking she might think I'm not if I'm like, you know, like uh, whatever I say about it is too wrong. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you think, Ray. You sound bad. Um, so a, a couple of things. Uh, one, I definitely think this is another instance of uh, the King Von and Quando Rondo situation where <clears throat> it doesn't matter who's right or wrong. It matters what artist we like the most. Yeah. I like, see that. if some ran- say if it wasn't Tory Lane, say if it was like some random dude, oh, yeah, like everyone would say, Throw him under the jail. Unanimous. Done yeah. deal. Yeah. But he made chick tape. Oh nah, yeah. nah, nah. We, 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 gotta, we gotta break yeah. him out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like that played a huge part. Um, I'm not mad at this. Get your shit off, cause she's right. She ain't wrong. Yeah. Everybody was against her. Yeah. Um, what I will say is that the judge did come out and kind of state like, I'm not gonna hold you kind of like portraying and confessing your innocence uh, against you when I'm sentencing you because if you believe that you're innocent, that's how you're supposed to act. So I thought that was pretty professional, pretty clear-minded from the judge. Yeah. Um, It's an unfortunate situation. I feel like Tory Lanez was really about to blow. Finally got really cool with Drake coming out of the quarantine like radio type thing. Like he, you know, he always made great music. Um, it's just a really, really unfortunate uh, situation. With that said, get your shit off, Meg. Yeah, man, I agree. You know, the, the timing was insane. That was right when Tory Lanez became independent for the first time. Independent artist is, you know, I think he had like the rights to his music. You know, the Drake situation aligned. He went viral, quarantine radio, the peak of his career. That, and that's why, that's why everybody was like. Especially if you're a Tory fan, you're like, oh, not now. Like, yeah. You got to be kidding me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But if it was like, you know, Joe Schmo from the corner or an upcoming rapper that no one knew about, we wouldn't have the same. Like, say if the situation was exactly the same, we wouldn't have the same feeling. Yeah, man. It's, it's going to be crazy to see not even their situation directly, but everyone around it. People already were trying to like come at Drake because Drake liked Tory Lane's post like, when he talked about like after being arrested. So oh, he's, he's on Tory Lane's side. Well, not nah, even whoa, whoa. more the bar of like you know the, about getting shot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, still think she a stallion like that one. Like that would have did yeah, even yeah, yeah. more. Like he tried to deny that it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, for yeah. About that Meg. was that was. It wasn't about Meg, you know. Fuck a tweet. That so it's like, one. It's like the relationship shit behind the music industry shit is gonna get stickier than ever. You know, you know how sticky it gets. Like Drake says. It's bound to happen. Drake's always a part of some shit, subliminally. So now it's like, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get a Drake and Meg Thee Stallion record. What type of songs are we going to get from Meg Thee Stallion? Who's going to really work Nothing for her? Nothing from Rock Nation, probably. You know, yeah, is Rock Nation, like, what's going to be her affiliates? Is she cutting people off? She already cut off, she said, the haters, but is that celebrities that we might have, you know, know? You know, especially right now with female artists going so crazy, it would be her time to shine right now, right? I, I also can't imagine like getting shot and then having women saying free Tory. Like, she she can do this, but she has to be going through it behind closed doors. She has to. It's too much. Weird, I saw that locally. Too many weird variables. Bro. I saw a, lot, a bunch of local the, the, girls. The, the like, oh my that, god, my Tory Lanes. The fact that your home girl <laughs> that was there was against you. You know what I'm saying? Kelsey, I don't know. Yeah, that Again, situation was I don't crazy. know, bro. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The Kelsey. What's the next thing we gonna talk Allegedly, about? Allegedly, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. You know. But yeah, in my opinion, if she focuses on good music, she just drops some good ass shit. If she could talk about this in a good ass way, rap your ass, go crazy, quality yeah. shit. I feel like you're gonna win a lot of more people over yeah. because for the ignorant crowd, the people that don't know, don't care about facts, et cetera, only care about fandom, like Ray's saying. Yeah. If you kill them with good ass music, uh-huh. oh, you're gonna get that crowd back again. Uh-huh. 